So much colder by Wednesday and Thursday morning. We'd have some serious issues if this was happening Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of freezing happening around the Bay. So let me show you how the change is going to play out. Because tomorrow, your President's Day, no changes, no different. It's going to be just as nice as this one. In fact, maybe even a degree or two warmer. Daytime highs will be climbing into the low 70s for many of our warmer inland spots tomorrow. That's a live view from the top of the Salesforce Tower looking at this gorgeous day. And we have a lot of upper 60s out there now. And Monday's great. Let me show you how Tuesday changes. After we do our morning lows on Monday, it's upper 30s, not bad in the North Bay Valley. It's not bad in comparison to how cold it has or could be. Uh, mid 40s for most of us. Daytime highs tomorrow, some low 70s there, and a lot of mid to upper 60s. So I'm going to skip ahead to Tuesday, and I want to show you what might be the most impactful part of this whole change. Even though there's some rain coming, we might even get a dusting of snow on the local hills around the bay, but I think what impacts the majority of us in the biggest way is gonna be that right there. This is Tuesday afternoon and it gets windy. And these are gonna be cold north winds. So after going from today and tomorrow where it's sunny and 70 and you're not even thinking about any issues with the weather, all of a sudden Tuesday feels dramatically different in the afternoon. 40 mile an hour gusts, a wind chill factor. It might feel only like the upper 40s out there throughout the afternoon, even though the thermometer will probably be mid to upper 50s. So here's why it's getting so cold. If we look at the picture, system comes down directly from the north. So yes, there is some rain with this. And if we come in for a close-up look and time that out, the rain wouldn't begin until late Tuesday. And even at that, if you watch it, it's real spotty. On again, off again, hit and miss showers, there's not a lot to them. We don't get a lot of rain in a scenario like this, but you do get some. You get a few light showers. Some of it might even come in the form of small hail because there's going to be some instability with the system as it comes in. And it'll certainly have cold air in the upper levels to work with. But if you look at the rainfall totals from Tuesday night through uh, like maybe early Friday morning, we get maybe three tenths of an inch of rain, half an inch of rain. That's not a lot spread out over a three day period. It'll be more impressive snow in the Sierra. And there's a possibility for some a dusting of snow on the local hills. If you look at the forecast here, Snow level gets down to about 1,500 feet is at the lowest. We could get six inches of snow, like up on Mount Hamilton. That's the yellow bullseye there. But you see light shades of blue in the East Bay Hills and in the mountains up in Marin. We wouldn't get significant accumulations there. But snow level technically at a time could get as low as 1,500 feet. And that would be the highest ridge tops through places like the East Bay Hills and up in the North Bay Mountains. It's going to be an issue for anybody driving home from Tahoe because Tuesday afternoon, it starts snowing. If people can get home Tuesday morning, they're going to avoid this. But by Tuesday afternoon, it's on. And then it keeps going. And it's going to keep snowing up there for a while. So it'll be good snow in the Sierra. And it's going to be cold in the mornings. Even though the wind really picks up Tuesday into Wednesday, the cold air really filters in. And then when the wind dies down, the thermometer is going to plummet. So by Thursday morning, it's upper 20s in the North Bay Valleys. And if it's that cold in the North Bay Valleys on Thursday, it's not as cold everywhere else, but it's still pretty cold. Mid-30s for just about all of us. And in the seven-day forecast, yeah, there's rain on here. You see it for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But the rain is not the biggest impact. It's the cold wind. It's the morning lows. That's going to be the biggest impact from this. And it'll be kind of nice if we do get a nice little dusting of snow on the mountains, but it shouldn't be a major impactful kind of snow. All right.